So I'm back. If you had guessed Dancing with the Stars, you would be correct. So I don't know how many of you out there watch it, but let's learn a little bit about it. So many reality TV shows in the United States are spin-offs of programs that originated in Britain. Oh, let me put these on. These include American Idol, Master Chef, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, and Dancing with the Stars. So before it was called Dancing with the Stars, it was or strictly it was called Strictly Come Dancing. Premiered in the United Kingdom in 2004. It was a television dance contest. So celebrities were paired with professional dancers to compete against other pairs mainly in ballroom and Latin dances. The show was widely popular, and on June 1st, 2005, its American spinoff aired for the first time. Like Strictly Come Dancing, Dancing with the Stars pairs the celebrity with a professional dancer, and uh, they compete performing a new and predetermined dance each week. Dance genres include Latin, ballroom, jive, and freestyle. A panel of judges award each couple points based on their performance, and the television audience also weighs in with its votes as well. The couple with the lowest combined total each week is eliminated, and the couple with the highest score during the finals takes home the championship and the coveted Mirror Ball Trophy. And this is the trophy, the Mirror Ball Trophy. It's pretty cool looking. So, all in all, 48 professional dancers and 366 celebrities have appeared on the show so far. Some of the dances included, include Paso Doble, Tango, Samba, Quick Step, Waltz, Cha Cha, and Rumba, and others. Like we had said, the jive and some freestyle. So I found a few fun facts about Dancing with the Stars I wanted to share with you. So. Let's see, the celebrities who compete on Dancing with the Stars get paid according to how long they remain in the competition. Those who reach the finals receive about $345,000. The, the winner does not receive any more than other finalists, but they win the Mirror Ball Trophy. Okay, let's see. Also, the number of couples competing each season has varied. Season one had just six couples. Season 29 had 15. And in most seasons, there's about 10 to 12 couples. Also, I found this as an I, in those clues, I was like, well, who got hurt? Well, several contestants have been forced to withdraw from the competition because of injuries. For example, Dorothy Hamill suffered a spinal injury. Misty May Trainer ruptured her Achilles tendon, and Christy, Ber Christy Brinkley injured her arm and required surgery. Ooh, it's a little da dangerous competition show. <laughs> uh, Marie Osmond, Osmond and her partner placed third in season five, and her brother Donnie competed in season nine, and he won that year. And the last thing that I thought was pretty interesting, and I truly believe this about dancing and music. It can bring everybody together. It's just such a joyous thing that brings people together. It's, this says, the diversity of celebrity contestants keeps Dancing with the Stars fresh and interesting. Athletes such as Emmett Smith and Christy Yamaguchi, politicians such as former Texas Governor Rick Perry, and a host of actors and singers from Florence Henderson to Rumor Willis have competed. So like I said, it brings everybody together, dancing, competition. And personally, I know that watching Dancing with the Stars brought my own daughter into ballroom dancing, which I, she it's beautiful to watch her dance. And I just thank Dancing with the Stars for letting her, uh, for it to be on television and for her to find a passion so hopefully everyone will be out there, whether you're on Dancing with the Stars or just dancing for fun. Just keep dancing and having a great time. All right, and maybe someday you'll win the mirror ball. Have a great day.